All right, everybody, welcome to a Bracket Up special. We've been working through the NHL season and the NHL playoffs have started, so we decided why not do that with the sister league to the NHL. The NBA playoffs have just started. They're doing some goofy-ass fucking playing <laughs> round, and we're going to break that down. But we've first decided that we're going to pick some teams, see who ends up winning uh, – the NBA playoffs. So I am handy dandy Andy Jarek, joined by Andy Mysek. Uh, notice him, Senpai. And That's Billy Watch Johnson, of course. And today I think Bill is going to generally kind of take the lead. He's the basketball expert of, out of the three of us. I know Bill follows the NBA uh, quite quite a lot. That's very nice. So That's my favorite sport. It's like the way they dribble up and down the court. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much. So we decided that each of us would pick two teams from uh, the East and the West, so four teams total. Uh, We determined the order of the draft before we started, and it would go Andy first, Bill second, and myself third, and then it would snake up and down like a normal fantasy draft does. Uh, We would receive one point for a team, you know, moving forward in the playoffs. I believe two points for the team that ends up winning the playoffs. Two points for the finals MVP, whatever team that person's on. And we decided a little (coughs) wrinkle here. If you picked one of the teams uh, that's in the play-in rounds and they don't make it to the playoffs, you lose a point because why would you do that? Why would you choose a play-in team? Bill probably probably has uh, strategies there about why a certain team might sneak in or, or beat one of the regular teams already so anything else to go over before we start drafting uh, i very well might have missed something i i think you got it all yeah oh uh just to heads up technically the east playing tournament playing round has already started uh charlotte is out but i assume no one will pick charlotte anyway I plan to pick Charlotte. Oh, sh- sorry. They're gone. <laughs> they lost. Them. Is Boston Fuck. out as well? What's that? Is Boston out too? Did, did they Actually, them? Boston is officially the seventh seed because they beat the Wizards. Oh, they beat so them. the Wizards will play the Pacers for the last seed in the East. Okay. Sorry, I totally misread that somehow. I didn't see where yeah. Boston went. Okay. The Lakers and Warriors have not played yet. Uh, the Grizzlies and Spurs are playing right now. So you what's can check the score. score. Well, what's the score? Uh, I think it's halftime. I think Grizzlies are up by like six or something. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think that matters because I ain't picking either of them either. Yeah. Yep, Bill is right. Spurs are up by seven at the half. Or Memphis is up by seven at the half. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Anything you guys would like to know before we start this draft? Any questions? Are Do you expect the one or the two seed in either conference to be upset by a seven, eight, or even a six seed? Or are they – I'm looking at the records in 49 so, and 23. I feel like they could lose. Normally, the NBA is playoffs are not known for their parity. Uh, they're pretty much like a one and two seed is usually the one that wins, but that has been changing a little bit, especially with COVID. Uh, last year it was a uh, there was a five seed in the finals. That was the Heat, uh, so that was pretty weird. And this year is pretty crazy because um, the Lakers, who I think are a contender are currently the seventh seed, so they're in the play-in tournament. Uh, COVID and injuries have kind of screwed them over, and it's affected a lot of teams, like the Celtics. Uh, Other teams have had issues. And then there's teams that are up near the top that have recently gotten some injuries, like the Nuggets lost Jamal Murray, Uh, but they're still humming along pretty well, so... They also have the MVP. So it's it, this is this year is going to be probably the hardest to really gauge. 
and at the end of it all it'll probably just end it'll end up being like a one and two seed or something like that we'll see or the lakers because they have lebron yeah i was gonna ask is utah really as good as their record indicates and phoenix okay uh a lot of people think the that phoenix is a bit of a paper tiger uh they are a good team so i mean it some people think that they're a little over they they are a little overrated as far as the their standings go some so, would say that they've earned it it's hard to tell so they could easily be second round fodder is what you're saying yeah so they'll be playing the seventh seed so they might be playing the lakers or the warriors and both they'll be playing those either are good the lakers teams or the warriors which is not a great draw no. uh, but Depends. Yeah. Yeah, but no. A lot of it depends on who wins tonight, the Lakers or the Warriors, too. And honestly, yeah, one of them is going to be playing also Utah. Who's a great team. Yeah, wow. Um, okay, that's all good information to know. Uh, oh, and also, is Golden State really as bad as they, they're showing there, or were they hit with injuries and COVID and now everyone's Well, they back? were hit with injuries before the season. Uh, it's basically been Steph Curry and Draymond Green, who are both great players. They have great chemistry together. They've been playing forever. Uh, but they probably, like, Steph had to play, like, out of his mind to take this team to the playoffs in general. Did they get those players back, or are they still just the two-man squad? Clay Thompson's out. Uh, so... I mean, they have like a decent, they're not like a terrible team. The West is a bloodbath, as usual. Uh, That's all. And it's Steph Curry. Steph Curry's great. Like, it's, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I think a lot of the playoffs are going to be decided today with the Lakers and Warriors game. And we're doing it before that game. So, uh, sorry. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to take Utah. Okay, great choice. Well, <laughs> record indicates they, they should be good. All right. Uh, I am going to take the Nets. I'm writing all this down on paper, by the way. Okay. Uh, Jared, you got two. Yeah, I know. I wanted one of those two. <laughs> Was it the Nets? Well, or Utah. I wanted one of either. Oh, right? you, yeah, yeah. Because I don't feel. I mean, Philadelphia is cool. They trust you. Trust the process, and they it finally wor has worked out. <laughs> yeah. But they're not. They're not a very proven team. I might be talking out my ass a bit, but like, I, no, I think people in general would agree with that. Yeah, and I, I don't know. But, experience and all like, that. This is the playoffs where they have to prove it. So it's whether you believe in them or not. I, I don't know. Right. So two teams from the East and two from the West. All right. I'm going to I'm going to get frisky. Oh. And I'm gonna take Philadelphia and Milwaukee. Oh. Milwaukee. Frisky. So, that's true. so the one, two, and three seed in the East are all gone. Right. Yeah. And really it's probably going to be one of those three teams in the finals. All right. Bill to you. Uh Go with the Lakers. Ah, ah. Okay. That's who I wanted. It, I mean, it's LeBron. I, I know, I know. That's why there's I a reason why he's the best player. That's who I wanted. Now, I mean, it's a really risky pick because they have not had a lot of time to play together as a full unit. LeBron got hurt this year. It could be just like a a wash. We'll see. So I got a question about Boston. So you said they were a team that got decimated by injuries, correct? They lost. Uh, oh, shoot. Who did they lose? I mean, they. I wouldn't say decimated by injuries so much as they've had like COVID protocol a lot. They've had injuries. I think Kemba was out for a while, but he's back. 
Uh, they did just lose somebody. I think it was Jalen Brown. How was their last 10 games been? Have they like, ha- did they start slow and then just amongst everything kind of pick it up towards the end? Uh, I think a lot of people would say they were a little disappointing this year because oh, no. they're the seventh seed right now. Uh, but I think in the last three out of the four years, they've made the conference finals. They're a very well coached team. They could, they have the experience to kind of get there. Uh, but they're prob they're they're missing like some oomph. It's not been a kind year for the Celtics. All right. Straight up. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to take somebody in the East and the top three seeds are gone. So I'm going to go with the Knicks, who, who would have been who I picked after the Nets anyway. So that's fine. It's not a bad pick. Um, and then what do I want to do here? I could, I could kind of take control of the West and take the number two seed Phoenix and just kind of – I know we talked about how they're kind of potentially overrated – but if I could have the one and two in the West, I could I could feel pretty safe there. I mean, still, a team that gets you 51 wins in a conference like the West, like Bill said, is always dangerous. Yeah. Like, you got to be good I mean, to get that many wins. Like it's, I'll take Phoenix. Yeah, yeah you still have, you have Chris Paul, who took them to the next level. Like, he's that's probably the reason why they're the number one seed. I'm I'm probably uh, I'm saying Phoenix, but do I want Denver instead? Who has the MVP? They do. He yeah, Joe Jokic, 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 Joker. Uh, again, that team very good. They did lose Jamal Murray, who was like their second best player, who's very good. And he's out for the playoffs. I believe so. Yeah. I'll take Phoenix. Okay. Oh, it's my turn? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, it's a hard choice. Now. So. I... I would like to go with the I'm gonna go with the heat. That was I was thinking that might be an interesting route to go as well for my last pick. Yeah. They're a team that knows who they like they know who they are. Or They've, I think they've had trouble this year, just kind of clicking. But you could say that they're uh, he- heating up, maybe. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, they made the finals last year. The, I mean, an interesting thing is, I, I know that the Knicks and the Hawks are going to play each other the first round. And that means one of those teams are definitely going to the next round which is weird, I think, for both of those franchises. So oh, you, so you think if they could get by Milwaukee, they have uh, an interesting matchup? So, yeah. if the, Yeah, I, I think that'll be a good series to beat the Bucks in the Heat. I, I tend to think the Bucks will probably win. Uh, but they would be playing – the Nets or the Celtics then. Oh. Oh. Okay. But no, I'm just saying uh, I think it's this is completely I was I was considering the Hawks instead of the Heat. Uh I think the Heat's pro- a better team, but there's a good chance the Hawks will beat the Knicks, so at least that would be a point. Mm-hmm. Uh but the Knicks could easily beat the Hawks, who knows? We'll see. It's just funny because I don't think any of either of those teams expected to like they one of them will make it to the next round. And I don't think either of those teams really thought that was going to happen this year. Well, Jarek, you're next with two picks and they both have to be in the West. That is 
correct. Um, just a general question. Is there reseeding done after the first round? No. no. Not at all. All right. So obviously the juggernauts in the West have really already been taken. Um, There's hmm. still a lot of good teams, though. Yeah. I think one There's... of my – yeah, go ahead. Uh, so no, so go, go ahead. I there's a team here I totally forgot about, but um, all right. I think my first pick is going to be the Los Angeles Clippers. Yeah, that's who I was. I totally forgot they were there, which is weird because they have a very good chance <laughs> of winning the whole thing. Yeah, are they that good? Is the fourth seed? They have Kawhi Leonard and Paul oh. George, and they don't have as many questions that the jazz Suns, or nuggets have and they're not like in a shitty position like the lakers but they have the toughest road there well the, other than the well, lakers they'll be playing the mavericks are a good team but they sh- it, if they should be able to beat the mavericks then, but then they have the jazz next assuming the, or the lakers possibly yeah possibly yeah but they're definitely a contender, I'd say. Interesting. I'm learning so much about basketball. <laughs> I feel like I, I should have picked them instead of the Heat, but it's too late. That's okay. Uh, and then my second pick and final pick, I think is going to be the Portland Trailblazers. I love Damian Lillard. He, yeah. I think he's my favorite players. He's got such a kick-ass attitude, and he's got ice water in his veins in, cl- in uh, crunch time. Yep, that was going to be my last choice, so sorry to steal that. That's got, okay. Bill, you have to take a team in the, the West. West. And you got Denver sitting there. Wow. I have, I do have, to, God, that'd be crazy not to take the Denver. Uh, well, you are. Mavericks. I, here's the thing with that, though. Are an interesting choice. I was going to say, you just said you think the Mavericks don't stand a chance against L.A. from what it sounds like. No, I, I, I wouldn't say that. They they can match up very well against them. Uh, they probably will not win, but they have Luka, who's really good. I will go with who do the Nuggets play in the first round? The Trailblazers. Shoot. And I think the Trailblazers might actually win that game, that round, that series. It'll be tough. You uh, I will go with the Nuggets, though. I, I feel like I have to. I was going to say, you could always go with Golden State. <laughs> it's, I mean, they're, Steph Curry could do it. He's good. Then there's me, and I have to take somebody in the East. Would it be weird to ignore Atlanta? They're the highest seed left, but I'm wondering Boston being disappointing this year, but they know the playoffs pretty well. When hasn't Boston made the playoffs? I mean, they I don't even know the last time they missed the playoffs. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Celtics are still good. Like, if they're I, definitely. If I take Atlanta, I guarantee one point, but I guarantee myself one team out. Because I have true. the Knicks as well. Because you have the Knicks. Celtics, I mean, they're not bad. Like, I, I, I don't think that's a bad choice for the East. Like, there's been a lot of years where I'm like, yeah, they don't have a chance, and then they end up in the conference finals. So, I, 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 will, I will say I never know where the Celtics – They're always they always end up where I don't think they'll end up. So – I don't know how helpful that is. Yeah, 500, too. That's rough. Do they Again, have guys, they've had a rough year. But do they have guys out now that are impact players? Yeah, they have at least one. I think it was Jalen Brown. So if he's out, and I'm assuming with a 500 record, they probably don't have the depth to fill his shoes in any sort of meaningful way. The Celtics are a team that actually has – pretty good amount of depth but they i don't think they have like that one like the yeah they don't have like a lebron uh, well no obviously but (laughs) just a superstar type they have like really 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 good players like 
uh, Jalen Brown. Uh, God, I'm forgetting somebody important. Tatum. Tatum, Kemba, and then there's their other guy. Uh, uh, so you Mar- took, Marcus. You. you took the Nets before Philadelphia. So you like – I think you like that matchup. So I'm going to go with Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, I'm going based on you being the most informed with basketball. And if you took the Nets with your first pick, you you like that matchup. Uh, that's all I've got to go off of. Against the – yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, I mean, I, I personally think the Celtics – or the Nets have the best chance of winning the whole thing. Uh but the Celtics are good. Like, I think the Celtics are a better team than the Hawks. But they probably have a much tougher road to the finals. Like, the Celtics have a tougher road to get farther. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. Also, I mean, uh, you, you just said you think Brooklyn. I So, I already made my pick with the Hawks. Yeah. But if, yeah. if, if, uh, if Brooklyn is your team to win the whole thing, even if they don't, you know more than me, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. But think of it this way. You know more than me in the hockey bracket, the hockey draft that we did, and I'm winning that, and I know nothing. But I knew going into it that you were going to win a lot of individual awards with McDavid. So sure. I went for teams in the playoffs. And I wanted Edmonton, actually, with uh, – I just knew Colorado was the best team. So my, I made my first pick there, and – uh yeah. It cost me Edmonton. So I think I think Jarek has a really good good team. Little good 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 group right now. Cause I forgot the Clippers existed completely. <laughs> yeah, I think I got lucky with that one. But I don't know. I just tried to spread, you know, everybody out. Like just have one team in one corner. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't just my preference, I wouldn't want to pick two teams going up against each other. Uh, yeah, I did that. <laughs> I mean, if it works out for you, then you'll be the genius and the rest of us will look dumb. Well, but- here's, here's, oh no, I don't have Philadelphia. I was going to say, if, so whoever wins, never mind. It doesn't make sense because I didn't pick Philadelphia. Um, at least I'm guaranteed a point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So who are the teams that we didn't pick? So Dallas. Yeah, and they could they could do pretty well actually. Golden State, right? Uh, yeah, one of the two nine and ten seeds. Yeah, Memphis both and San Antonio. Washington and Indianapolis, Boston. Right. And that's uh, it. And yeah. the pace. And Indiana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think of that group, really only the Celtics or. The Mavericks, maybe the Warriors could do anything. I'm kind of excited. I, I haven't been yeah. paying attention to a lot of basketball this year, but I think this will be a really entertaining playoffs because it's a lot of weird matchups. Really wondering. I, I'm really not liking my Atlanta pick the more I think of it. That's okay. You, you live and learn. One point guaranteed. I'm 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 pretty happy with my picks. I, I, I still am glad I picked the Heat. Uh, I just maybe it's a blessing that I forgot about the Clippers completely <laughs> because it's the Clippers. Like they they don't win. Not the Not they don't win. But this is their year. It, I mean, it could very well be. I absolutely hope so. I like having the corners in the West. I like having one and two. Yeah. The East, I'm sort of not thrilled with. (laughs) So you have the Jazz and the Suns? Uh, Yeah. I think there's a good chance at least one of them will. I think maybe the Jazz could, could do it. Unless they get really unlucky and have to go against the Lakers in the first round. Yeah, but if they beat the Lakers in the first round, there's a lot of energy coming yeah. off beating the best player in the world. Yeah, yeah, that's true. If they beat the Lakers, then I think they could get to the finals at least easily. 
I mean, they would then have to play the Clippers in the, the first, second round. Maybe. Sure. Could be Dallas, but. Dallas, yeah. It won't be easy. No. That would be Sixers actually have a great uh, path to the finals. Considering we haven't talked much about, like, the Knicks, who are in the class for the first time in, like, what, nine years or something like that? It's yeah. been a while for them, you know, to have well, a good, solid team. They haven't, yeah, they haven't been in the playoffs for a while. You know, you know who this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Chicago Blackhawks of 29 or 2009. They, they missed the playoffs for like eight or nine years in a row. And then they get to the conference finals with a bunch of young kids. I mean, that would be awesome. Uh, yeah. Julius Randle, he's really good. He's a hell of a player. Are they just a bunch of young kids? That's a really good question. I, it's... I honestly I don't know much about the Knicks. All I know is that Julius Randle's really good. I don't know if he's their whole team or what, but they have Derrick Rose. You got you yeah, can't I was gonna say, they do have Derrick Rose. Yeah, he's great. That was a that was a reason I picked him because I was pretty sure Rose was yeah. on the Knicks. Yeah. Uh Tom they have the old the old Bulls coach too, Tom Thibodeau. Yeah. Taj Gibson's there also. Is he really? Yeah. I thought he was like 100 years old at this point. I mean, he <laughs> play more than 10 minutes a game. But... Wow. I honestly – I don't know that much about the Knicks, and they're a good team. Uh, I think the Knicks and Hawks match will be a really fun matchup. Well, I can rest easy knowing I got a point there. So Both are young teams that were just going to – at the beginning of the year, they were like – their goal was basically to make the playoffs, and they're – they they both did a lot better than expected, I think. Good. Ride that ride that energy. Yeah. Two young teams. Yeah, it'll be a good year. Fun stuff. Yeah. I am super excited. Um, do we think about maybe doing a check-in after like the first or second round to see where you know scores are at? Or do we just want to wait maybe until everything is done? I don't, I don't care. Uh, I mean, I, I'm never opposed to a, a mid playoff check in, especially because if, if basketball playoffs are like hockey, it's a two and a half month grind. Yeah, it'll be a while. We could do a check in. Maybe at like the big, like just as the second round is starting or something. Yeah, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. It's more so finalized by that point. We'll see if. Uh... Any of our random little strategies have worked out. Yeah. It'd be really fun. So, as far as I know, Memphis and uh, Memphis is still winning. Yep, they're up by five. I know nobody picked Memphis or San Antonio, but yeah. We'll see what happens. It would be really funny if one of those teams knocked the Lakers out, though. <laughs> oh, boy. You would not it's... be happy, would you, Bill? Quick I wouldn't be thrilled about it, but it'd be pretty funny. Uh, it, it, I like I, my I love, I, I love the Spurs. Like I, I wouldn't be that mad. Why what happened to them this year? They don't really have any good players. <laughs> like <laughs> they have a great coach. Did uh Marcus Aldridge retired this year. Ooh, that's a good because he's yeah. he was always one of their like consistent rocks. I think he left. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, let's see. They have DeMar DeRozan. And they have, yeah, that's about it. Otherwise, there's a bunch of names I don't really recognize. <laughs> they have Lonnie Walker, who I think is pretty good. Okay. I don't, I don't even know if Patty Mills is still on the team. Boy. Uh, yeah, they, I, I mean, I love them when they had like Tim Duncan and stuff. Right. <laughs> but, I have nostalgia in my heart for them. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right. So I think that will wrap it up for our little NBA playoff draft. So a quick recap of the teams everybody has. Uh, Andy Mysek drafted first. He has the Utah Jazz, the New York Knicks, the Phoenix Suns, and the Atlanta Hawks. 
Bill drafted second. He's got the Brooklyn Nets, the Los Angeles Lakers, the Miami Heat, and the Denver Nuggets. I drafted third. I've got the Philadelphia 76ers, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Los Angeles Clippers, and the Portland Trail Blazers. So as Bill said, there's a few playing games tonight, but otherwise playoffs will be starting very shortly. Otherwise, we will see you all in a, well, maybe two, three weeks or so for a check-in after the first round. And we hope you enjoyed this little NBA playoffs drafts from your favorites at Bracket Up. Have a good night, everybody.